What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Jay Buck with some more real stories for you. Today we're talking bank angling again. More tips and it's which jig do you need when I'm foot? guys jig fishing i love it i've been way more dedicated to it this year and um, i'm trying to come at you guys with a few jigs that you guys might want to try when i'm foot to be honest the jig is a great bait we know that but on foot at the bank it can be hell it can be hellacious trying to get your jig back to the bank hooked up on the wood hooked up on the grass and you know hopping jigs up a bank is a lot harder than down a bank so that's why a lot of those boat guys live for the jig it's a lot more weedless than you think. It's just being from the bank can be, be a pain. So let's just kick it off. What jigs are there? There's a ton of different jigs. We've got pitching jigs, flipping jigs, football jigs, casting jigs, finesse jigs, micro jigs. That's a lot to take in. So we're gonna take it slow. You don't need all those jigs because before you know it, you're gonna have a thousand different jigs and a thousand different colors because that's just how fishing is. Don't be me or be me because it's a ton of fun and get all these jigs let's dive in and see which ones you need all right first up we got them in this plano edge box just take a quick gander one of my jig boxes let me pull out my favorite jig to throw it's a 3 8 dirty jigs pitching jig kind of resembles a casting jig it's got that arky style head but it's kind of got more of a flat cup look to it I really love this bait from the bank or, or even in a boat guys it's it's really good in some brush it's really good on the wood it's okay in the rock you, you you can snag it up but you can most of the time get it free unless you're down in some giant boulders and you can't get over top of it as much but that's beside the point I mean you're gonna lose everyone's gonna lose a jig so just go in thinking you might lose a jig but again try this pitching jig I really love to hop it. My pitching jigs, I'm really around the 3 8 to half ounce area. I will go a little bit higher, but this is where I'm sticking primarily. It's just a great style. It's got a banded skirt, but their skirting material is amazing, and their hook keepers are very effective. So think about that pitching jig. We're gonna talk about colors a little bit, a little bit later, but I'm gonna keep it simple so you guys can just pick a couple jigs and get on the water. All right, next I'm talking about this flipping jig. Yep, dirty jigs again. See that head's a little wider, a little more bulbous than say this pitching jig right here. If you're fishing more grass, uh, bigger rock, I would choose this because it's it penetrates that grass a lot easier and then it doesn't get wedged in as much as say this pitching jig now if you have a little more gravel more mud bottom I really like this because I like to drag it so pick your poison what do you have what type of cover do you have and get to work all right for you guys that are just a little leery about the jig just straight up finesse jig simple ball headed jig it's got that finesse cut if you've got lighter gear you don't have the heavier gear go with this finesse jig it's it's the bee's knees guys I, I love that finesse cut if if you primarily are fishing colder water um, small mouth will smash on this but I use this more for the lighter gear that colder water this finesse jig is money I really like it in this color I like that more bluegill style uh, look to it. I'll show it to you again Because it's money. So think about a finesse jig that recessed line tie on the dirty jigs is just absolutely cash money See that definitely gonna limit the hook uh, the snags on the grass or that crap down there I know you guys can see that looks amazing But again finesse jig finally guys You know, I'm coming with it I got a whole box dedicated to these types of baits. Swim jigs. It's simple. 
you, you need you need one of those vertical jigs and you need a swim jig. It's more of an archi, archi style head and it's simple enough. You typically are gonna swim it and you're gonna throw a trailer on it that has kick, more movement, because you're gonna run it like a chatterbait or a spinnerbait. If you're pumping your rod, then you don't have the right trailer on it. If you're trying to create that movement or the action out of your trailer with the rod, consider switching your trailer because this thing should have some rock, some roll, some wiggle, all on its own, cast and retrieve bait. If you're only going into the big dance with one, uh, it's tough, but I would say just go with the swim jig because you can get through grass, you can get through timber, really easy, and I mean, you can jig any freaking bait. This It's a 3 8 ounce head. You can jig it up and down, but is it gonna be great for the, all those situations, every situation? No. If you can only go with two, swim jig, pitch and jig. Deadly combination to get after bass early morning, late evening, winter months, finesse jig. Guys, that's simple. Don't be like me and buy a thousand different jigs, a thousand different styles. Do you need to go with dirty jigs? Absolutely not. I just want to recommend them because their hardware is great and they've produced a ton of fish for me. But find your favorite. I mean, Sixth Sense has some good ones. Uh, Booyah has some good ones. But that's completely up to you. All sorts of baits out there. All sorts of brands that make some good gear. So try out what you want. Now on the gear, I'm going to keep it simple. The pitching jig, flipping jig, those bigger jigs, I'm throwing on a medium heavy. I got it on my Zodia 7.2 medium heavy. Most versatile rod is a medium heavy. If you don't think so, drop down below and let me know why. Because you're probably thinking a medium. But I'll go, I'll bend over backward and say medium heavy is the best. You can throw that finesse jig on it. But I particularly keep this around a quarter ounce, max three eighths. And I like a medium on that. I throw it on a St. Croix Avid X, but just a medium action, fast action rod with a little bit of tip is gonna get it done for you. But everything else on that medium heavy, cause I'm sticking between three eighths, all the way up to five eighths, maybe even three quarter, depending on where I'm at. Now colors guys, keep it very simple or you'll end up with a thousand different jigs and a thousand different colors. I mean, you gotta have every jig in the same color. That's how it felt like. But I keep it very simple. The browns, the green pumpkins. Uh, I have a lot of bluegill where I'm at, Midwest, so we're throwing a lot of, a lot of gill colors, a lot of magic craws. You know, that's the ticket. I mean, browns. I think that's, I don't even know what that is. Super matte brown, something like that. But yeah, that's where I'm sticking, guys. I mean, I get down into the black blues, the hematoma realm when it gets chocolatey out there. That's why I love throwing jigs, you can get crazy. Now your trailers, some sort of beaver if you want that dead action, or some sort of crawl if you want all that wiggle and shimmer out there. We can jump into which trailers in another video. Hope this helps you guys. I'll dive way more in depth in the jig videos. If you guys really like it, drop down, drop down a comment, let me know if you wanna see more jig videos. And if this helped you, throw a like at me, because that's awesome. Till then, I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one.